Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBadger.com, here today to start, which will hopefully be my Strawberry Mountain Adventure 2.0. If you follow my content a while back, tried to get up there. I did get up there, but things, it went sideways. So, gonna basically set out again. And while I hate filming indoors, I'm gonna basically go through from the very beginning, packing stuff up, run over quickly what I'm bringing, and hit the road, get out there, and yeah, hopefully make it up to Strawberry Mountain and create some good content. Spoiler, where I'm going, it's gonna be cold, and there's no way around like a certain volume of stuff. So with that being said, I'm gonna use one of my boys' sleeping bags because it's warmer than mine. It's rated down to 15 degrees, the uh, Spike Lake by Big Agnes. And then that is gonna go in this Waterproof Compression Sack by OR. I've reviewed it before, same with that bag actually. Um, this, I recently patched it, see how that does. Hopefully it does good. And then, last thing you wanna be is cold. So, reviewed these before, Thermarest Z Fold. I have two of them, accidentally bought a three quarter size. I also have the full size, I will take and sleep on both of them. And then, of course, all this needs to go in a pack pack I'm using is this guy right here it is a one of the packs by attack pack has their like buffalo bags big outer bags and this is a molly panel obviously so I can put anything on it or pals webbing however you want to refer to it down here I actually have this dry bag by watershed and spending some time with and since I'm going up there We'll be carrying a bunch of stuff filming there's always electronics don't really want them wet so i'm going to end up putting them in here and then there's this outer portion throw stuff in here i have access to a first aid kit on the very outside i'll put stuff here fill up these bags with stuff it'll all go in here and then past that i yeah, i guess layers so as far as next to skin stuff I have some long underwear, merino wool by Smart Wool, some of the old school stuff. I'll be wearing those. Over that, I have these, I'm trying to think of the model. Basically, the Softshell Pants by Prometheus Design Works. Softshell's nice. One, it can help someone with wind if it's not too windy, but bigger picture is, especially if it's treated, it'll shed water so you're not just getting wet right away with like cotton, for example. And then also have some icebreaker merino wool underwear. Couple pairs of socks, and by couple I mean two. Pretty much knee high socks, again merino wool made by Fitz. Pretty cool company. And then, man, I've never found a use for this other than like actively hiking when it's cold. It's basically a really thin layer by icebreaker. Again, merino wool. And super athletic fit, has a hood. So you can keep it on and I will hike up in this. I'm sure I will sweat in it, but it's easy to strip off and put warming layers on once I get up there. As far as warming layers go, I have, or I guess here's another outer layer too. I have these, which are a kind of like hard shell rain pant, which I can throw on depending on the environment, of course. And then as far as warming layers go, I have this fleece from Prometheus Design Works. Thing's pretty rad, wind stopper, it's really warm. And then over that, I also have from Prometheus Design Works, the shell, to which is also a water repellent, wind stopper, everything like that. And then, probably gonna bring this guy also. I've read this before, down jacket from Outdoor Research. It's waterproof also. Seen the pattern here. And then as far as hiking up, uh, so it doesn't eat my lunch, I of course will bring my gaiters this time, which I forgot last time. It was terrible. And then Merino Watch Cap by Prometheus Design Works. Then I haven't tried this. It is still in the plastic. I will open it later, it's loud. But it is a cashmere schma by Prometheus Design Works, and I can see that being really nice, especially if the wind kicks up, or when it's just maybe single digits, being able to wrap that around my face, should be really nice. Then we kind of get into like 
the menu, or I guess there's this too. Have my spacing on. <laughs> it's been a long day. Have my uh, uh, snowshoes. Someone probably on the internet yelled at while watching this video. Yes, you're right, snowshoes. So I have those. This one's been kind of repaired. It's kind of in a bad way, but it should get me up there. And then past that, I have this stuff. I'm gonna be cooking up there as well as melting water because I don't want to carry a bunch of water and there's gonna be lots of snow. So I have a pretty full bottle of, well, this is actually just gasoline, but for my Whisperlite International stove right here, I have a cook pot, reviewed this guy, and I don't really want to eat in that as far as like prepare food inside of it because then I have to clean it, especially since I'm going to be boiling water in there. So to that end, got one of these guys, pretty sure I reviewed it before, basically collapsible bowl, makes it easy. And as far as gloves go, Pig Delta Utility Gloves. Not warm by any stretch of the imagination, but they will at least keep your hands like when touching things that are really cold. Keeps that away and they're touch capacitive. Since I use my camera all the time, that's important. But to go over these, when it is truly cold up there. I have these mitts, they have down liners inside of them. Those will keep my hands warm. And then, yeah, stuff past that. Last time I learned my lesson with my, uh, my hydration bladder, which froze on me. So I have two different water bottles, both of which are insulated, which is really nice, especially if I wanna put warm stuff in there, have it stay warm, or just not have my water freeze. Beyond that, as far as food goes, a bunch of different random stuff to include. Gonna make sure I have, I actually just ground this, some coffee for my bobble press that is coming with me. And then, yeah, kind of beyond that, just simple stuff like a headlamp, batteries that just charged, um, another secondary flashlight, a couple different lighters. Again, redundancy. Pocket knife, more a knife, fixed blade, tourniquet, stuff that's just on me. And then on top of all this, we have like camera equipment. Obviously I'm filming, so there's the camera. Mic, recorder, all these things, the tripod. That stuff, since this will be an adventure log, that stuff's basically gonna stay out, which is kind of a mixed bag. Like I don't have to pack it, but I also have to carry it the whole way. And speaking of carrying stuff, this cute little guy and like 30 rounds of i think it's 205 grain solid copper hollow points by grill ammunition it's their like silverback hunting stuff and well i'm not planning on hunting anything yeah it's the pacific northwest so like wolves mountain lions black bear brown bear both those are probably hibernating, hopefully, like moose, whatever. So this guy will come with me and be slung at the ready. Right now, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and probably, oh, yeah, I also have a three-season tent because I don't have a four-season tent, but that's what I got. So right now I'm going to go ahead and get the lion's share of this stuff packed up. So I'll be ready to take off tomorrow morning. just finished packing this up and I'm like this is stupid I don't want to try and carry it like this and since there's provisions for basically with this pack hauling all kinds of stuff I think I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange this right now no matter what whenever I go into the backcountry it ends up with a ton of stuff because on top of everything else there's filming stuff and then yeah like I'm like oh yeah I should probably bring an ice axe so there's that Eesh. And obviously, I live with two boys, although I'll probably not bring their Uzi. But yeah, 
I'm going to restructure this because I don't like the way it's packed. I like this plan way better. Basically, I put everything I have into this uh, waterproof, basically duffel bag by Outdoor Research and stripped everything off of this frame. Basically has a little shelf on there and yeah, everything is in a giant waterproof container. Everything is cinched down and strapped to the pack. So that's there. I got my snowshoes out, my ice axe, probably go on my pack. Hopefully I don't need it, but that's one of those things. If you need it, like there's nothing else. You're not going to be like, oh, I need an ice axe, but good thing I have a like honey badger. Like, no, ice axe, if you need it, like you need it. So that's coming with me either way. Have all my clothes set out, which I will change into tomorrow morning to include my sweet pack belt I had made in Afghanistan. Love this thing. Going to be wearing these Solomons, and as far as the stuff, just random little stuff that I still have out that largely is stuff that is kind of going in my pockets, whether it's my field notes, space pin, this little stream light I've been playing with, um, pretty sweet compass, just in case. I do have a paper map stuffed in there somewhere. And then, yeah, my CBD oil I just started keep it out because I'm going to have some tomorrow and get it packed away. Same with some last minute camera stuff. And since, man, it ends up getting dark pretty early out here. So I may end up bringing a book, Hatchet. Both of my boys just finished reading it and I started rereading it. So I may take that up there and give me something to do when the sun goes down and I'm just hanging out for hours and hours. But what I got. I'm gonna get up tomorrow morning, make some coffee, and roll out.